Leviticus chapter 4, verses 1 through 35. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, When a being sins by mistake against any of the commands of Yahweh, which are not to be done, and shall do any of them, if the anointed priest sins, bringing guilt on the people, then he shall bring to Yahweh for his sin, which he has sinned, a young bull, a perfect one, as a sin offering. And he shall bring the bull to the door of the tent of appointment before Yahweh, and shall lay his hand on the bull's head, and slay the bull before Yahweh. And the anointed priest shall take some of the bull's blood, and bring it to the tent of appointment. And the priest shall dip his finger in the blood, and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before Yahweh, in front of the veil of the set-apart place. And the priest shall put some of the blood on the horns of the slaughter place of sweet incense before Yahweh, which is in the tent of appointment, and pour all the blood of the bull at the base of the slaughter place of the ascending offering, which is at the door of the tent of appointment. Then he takes all the fat of the bull as the sin offering, the fat that covers the entrails, and all the fat which is on the entrails, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them by the loins, and the appendage on the liver, which he removes with the kidneys, as it was taken from the bull of the slaughtering of peace offerings. And the priest shall burn them on the slaughter place of the ascending offering. But the skin of the bull and all its flesh, with its head and legs, its entrails and dung, all of the bull he shall bring outside the camp to a clean place where the ashes are poured out, and burn it on wood with fire. Where the ashes are poured out, it is burned. And if the entire congregation of Israel strays by mistake, and the matter has been hidden from the eyes of the assembly, and they have done against any of the commands of Yahweh, which are not to be done, and shall be guilty, when the sin which they have sinned becomes known, then the assembly shall bring a young bull for the sin, and bring it before the tent of appointment. And the elders of the congregation shall lay their hands on the head of the bull before Yahweh, and the bull shall be slain before Yahweh. And the anointed priest shall bring some of the bull's blood to the tent of appointment, and the priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle it seven times before Yahweh in front of the veil, and put some of the blood on the horns of the slaughter place which is before Yahweh, which is in the tent of appointment, and pour all the blood at the base of the slaughter place of ascending offering, which is at the door of the tent of appointment. Then he takes all the fat from it, and shall burn it on the slaughter place, and he shall do with the bull as he did with the bull as a sin offering. So shall he do it. And the priest shall make atonement for them, and it shall be forgiven them. And he shall bring the bull outside the camp, and burn it as he burned the first bull. It is a sin offering for the assembly. When a ruler sins, and by mistake has done against any of the commands of Yahweh his Elohim, which are not to be done, and shall be guilty, or if his sin which he has sinned is made known to him, then he shall bring as his offering a buck of the goat, a male, a perfect one, and he shall lay his hand on the head of the goat, and shall slay it at the place where they slay the ascending offering before Yahweh. It is a sin offering. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and shall put it on the horns of the slaughter place of ascending offering, and pour its blood at the base of the slaughter place of ascending offering, and shall burn all its fat on the slaughter place like the fat of the slaughtering of the peace offerings. And the priest shall make atonement for him for his sin, and it shall be forgiven him. <clears throat> and if any being of the people of the land sins by mistake, doing against any of the commands of Yahweh, which are not to be done, and shall be guilty, or if his sin which he has sinned shall be made known to him, then he shall bring as his offering a female goat, a perfect one for his sin which he has sinned. And he shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering, and slay the sin offering at the place of the ascending offering. And the priest shall take some of its blood with his finger, and shall put it on the horns of the slaughter place of ascending offering, and pour all the blood at the base of the slaughter place, then remove all its fat, as fat is removed from the slaughtering of the peace offerings. And the priest shall burn it on the slaughter place for a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And the priest shall make atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. And if he brings a lamb as his sin offering, he brings a female, a perfect one. 
and he shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering, and shall slay it as a sin offering at the place where they slay the ascending offering. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and shall put it on the horns of the slaughter place of ascending offering, and pour all the blood at the base of the slaughter place. Then he removes all its fat, as the fat of the lamb is removed from the slaughterings of the peace offerings, and the priest shall burn it on the slaughter place according to the fire offerings to Yahweh. So the priest shall make atonement for his sin that he has sinned, and it shall be forgiven him.